Mr. Mitsuhara has gone before a federal judge. He stated under oath that he was fully responsible for this fraud. He's accepted his responsibility. He's admitted to his guilt. And we will proceed to sentencing in this case and finally bring vindication to the victim, but also the larger community that demands we address these types of fraud cases aggressively and with justice in mind. Based on the extent of the conduct here, the sentence would likely be one that calls for incarceration. Mr. Otani is considered a victim in this case. It is clear from the evidence that he did not profit from this, he did not benefit from this, he in fact was harmed substantially by this. What we saw was Mitsu, Mr. Mitsuhara was the one that based on his addiction to sports betting, took advantage of his friend, the person who'd given him an opportunity, and victimized Mr. Otani. Fraud of this sort, fraud by people who have the confidence of others, is rampant in our community, in our nation. We see elder abuse all the time in similar situations. We see all kinds of people being abused by lawyers, people who have their trust and confidence, and everyone needs to be aware. They should be suspicious. They should take precautions when they have others managing their money and managing their affairs. Based on the conduct he's pleaded guilty to, he faces significant immigration consequences. I will not get into predictions of what will ultimately happen, but he certainly faces a risk of deportation back to Japan, 